All right, we're going to do problem number 20 on page 881. And in 20, we're looking to calculate freezing and boiling point of the solution. So that's the same as our last problem. And we have 2, 3.7 grams. Oh, this is going to be a challenging one. That's copper 2 sulfate. Copper 2 sulfate looks like this. That's a two for one. One copper ion and one sulfate ion. That's important. That's different. That's different than what we've done before. Copper sulfate in 250 grams of, what are we in? Water, H2O. Okay, we're supposed to find Melting and freezing point of solution. Okay. Now, we don't have a molality, do we? Hello? Do we have a molality? No. Do we have grams? Can we get moles? Okay. If we get moles of this and we get kilos of this, we can find the molality. So this is finding the molality before we can even start the problem. Okay? So we have 23.7 grams of copper sulfate over 1. Copper is, we look on our periodic chart, and we find copper, it's at 63.5, will be good enough. 63.5. We got one sulfur, and sulfur is at 32 grams. 63.05, oh, yeah, okay. 2.5. And then we got our sulfur at 32. The two O is fine. And these uh, oxygens, we have four of those, and that's 64. And we got 0.5 out here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, and 3 is 15. 159 grams per. Okay, David, what are we going to put on the bottom here? This number of grams is equal to 1 mole. What do we put here? Yes. 159.5 grams. No, 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 no. You don't slash moles. Moles is up here. Right, right. And that, that does our conversion to moles. And now we're halfway there to getting the molality. Yeah, 23.7 divided by the 159.5. Okay, so this is going to be the moles of copper sulfate. So our moles is going to be 0 0.149, and that's moles of copper sulfate. Now, now we've got to get this guy into kilograms, and we do that by moving the decimal 3 to the left, yes? Kilo, 3 to the left. So we've got 0 0.149 moles coming from this calculation. And on the bottom, we have this many grams of water, which we're changing into kilos by moving the decimal three to the left. And that's 250 kilos of water, which is our solvent. Okay? Uh, this is, we need to change this to kilograms because molality is dealing with kilos of solvent. Okay? And the solvent is water. And there we are. And now, now what we need to do is get the, the uh, numbers here, 0.149 divided by 0 0.250. Okay, so that's 0 0.596 little m. Now we can go to our charts, just like we did up above. And we got two little cuties here. We've got to double our molality because the copper sulfate is a electrolyte and we get one copper and one sulfate for every copper sulfate. 
that means this has to be doubled because we have twice as many particles in solution. Yes, when it's that. Now, if we were talking about, if we were doing this for any of these guys, I would have to triple for this one because there's three for one. I would have to quadruple four for one on this guy. There's one of each here, so there's two for one. One copper, one sulfate. So that doubles the molality. No, it's one before it goes in the water. When it goes in the water, then it's double. So when we calculated the molality, we used one mole of this, this stuff not in the water. So the molality, when we put it into the water, is not going to stay the same. It's going to double. And now we have point 